Over 60% of government agencies reported a security incident involving a mobile device in 2017, and any single incident has the potential to harm national security. I'm Emery Shulak, the Department of Energy's Chief Information Security Officer, and this video is for anyone who uses a mobile device. Each year, our use of mobile platforms expands dramatically, and we all share a responsibility to keep these devices secure. First, why mobile security? We need to protect sensitive data stored on portable devices and prevent unauthorized users from using mobile devices to access our networks. Let's check out the different types of threats and tips. Two types of threats are network threats and device and application threats. Everyone must be vigilant. Network threats include unsecure Wi-Fi, network spoofing, and Bluetooth vulnerabilities. Unsecure Wi-Fi is everywhere we go these days with our mobile devices. There are always Wi-Fi networks waiting for us to connect, but some of those can be trick networks often disguised as free Wi-Fi connections, just waiting to capture your data. Here's a tip. Use free Wi-Fi sparingly, only if you really have to use it, and never use it to access confidential or personal services such as banking or credit cards. Network spoofing is when a fake Wi-Fi connection is disguised as a trustworthy Wi-Fi network. These networks are traps typically found in high-traffic public locations such as coffee shops, libraries, and airports. An example could be something called Coffee Free when the real Wi-Fi might be Coffee Guest. Bluetooth vulnerabilities create an open channel for hackers to intercept, monitor, or manipulate encrypted Bluetooth traffic between two paired devices without being detected. To block this kind of attack, it's important to disable and re-enable the Bluetooth service on your device to reset your Bluetooth address for each use. It is also a good idea to disable the default or always on option so you are more aware when a connection is being made. There are also a range of device and application threats out there which include data privacy exploits, phishing attacks, and data leakage. Data privacy can become vulnerable when you don't have the latest software updates installed. Take action by not clicking ignore when a software update appears. Install them right away. They are critical. They are designed to improve your device's security by fixing bugs and closing off potential vulnerabilities. Phishing attacks sound scary, and they are. Someone pretending to be credible sends you an email to hack into your files or steal your information. The best defense against phishing is to never click on unfamiliar links. Hover over the link to verify the source, or simply type in the website address yourself if you're unsure. Data leakage is always just one tap away, so watch your permissions. Only give apps the permissions that are absolutely needed, and you should avoid using any program that asks for more permissions than necessary. Thank you for taking a few minutes to learn about mobile device security with me today. Mobile devices are an avenue for adversaries to attack systems containing data on millions of Americans and government functions. So take the time today to review your mobile devices, make updates, and do your part to keep them secure.